Uh, can, can I can I just uh, welcome everybody to this peace uh, peace movement on the Easter Sunday? We are spending this Easter Sunday. Yes, Alex, up. We are spending this Easter Sunday. Uh, as a solidarity with Brian uh, and Barbara and uh, Akil's movement, which is for peace in the world and peace in Iraq particularly. I think Brian is representing us, the six billion people, and only minority is opposing him. Uh, we are in majority and we should always live for peace, harmony, and uh, food for all in the world. Brian. Thank you. Uh, Brian wants to say something. I want us to be representatives of Britain, that's what we're doing here, and it's time we were honest with ourselves, honest with ourselves and honest with the world. My country is in denial, you know, of what it's doing, in denial. While we're talking about terrorists, those bad people over there, we are the terrorists. We are the ones who go and invade other people's countries without law because we have the weapons to do so we are the terrorists we need to repent people who dare to call themselves Christian go into other people's countries killing people that's not Christian in the past it's been said an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth but now I say to you love your enemies that's what Jesus Christ told us. That is Christian. Love your enemies. And we slaughter and murder the most innocent and dare to call ourselves Christian. USA, Britain, repent. Israel, repent. We must all repent of our wickedness and give the true message of Christianity, the true message of love peace and justice for all and be honest and stop being in denial of what our country does to other people we are the ones responsible for terrorism in the world we are the biggest terrorists we must stop state terrorism for goodness sake b-52s cruise missiles invading other independent countries we must stop this business and go out to the people with love. That's what Christ told us to do. Not with hate, with peace. The Prince of Peace tells us to go out and share his peace with other people. And why I love my brother, a Christian in Pakistan, standing up, standing up for the poor. That's our business, isn't it? I had a display here, 45 meters. We had a display. It was the world expressing themselves here. The murdered children, as you do to the least, you do to me, Jesus. That's what the sign said. And underneath were well, some of the least regarded, the children and the people of Iraq, who we were torturing and murdering for 12 long years during that sanctions regime, that wicked, wicked, business of torturing people and the good man Dennis Halliday who told us we are committing genocide against these people that's what Dennis Halliday said he was inspector. we were torturing the innocents the assistant secretary general of the United Nations Dennis Halliday said we are committing genocide and he resigned over this and his successor, Count Hans von Sponeck, did exactly the same. It's all there. The truth is out there. We've been torturing and murdering the innocents in the name of... Not in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of humanity, we must stand up on behalf of our brothers and sisters. And as we treat the least regarded, that is how we treat Jesus. And that's how we should behave as true believers, no matter what our faith is. I've had wonderful Buddhist people who come here from Japan, and they are the ones who gave us the pictures of this depleted uranium munitions, our nuclear waste. They know about nuclear warfare in Japan. They visited Iraq.
they saw that we are committing nuclear warfare. And it's going to affect all the surrounding countries. It spreads this stuff. It spreads and it spreads. We say spread love. That's the answer. Spread healing. Spread the food. I've said enough for now. 